Fusion 360 allows third-party developers to create add-ins which extend the functionality. Oftentimes add-ins solve a niche use case where Fusion 360's native tools are not sufficient. One of my favorites is called OpenBomb. It helps you create a more detailed bill of materials or parts list, all derived from your Fusion 360 model. This is the perfect add-in for all of you that do woodworking projects or the mechanical engineers or designers out there that are working on large assemblies. To be clear, OpenBomb did not sponsor this video. I'm simply a happy customer. With that said, they do have a freemium model where you can sign up for a free account. They also offer a 14-day free trial for the professional plan if you need to test out the additional features. I've put a link below this video to their pricing page so you can look at the available features. I encourage you to sign up for a free trial to test it out. I found this add-in to be well worth it if you regularly use parts list. Particularly for woodworking projects, the automated dimensions are a huge time saver. With that said, I don't think this add-in will be beneficial to everyone. It depends on your workflow and how you're using Fusion 360. You'll want to sign in to the Autodesk App Store, which I've also linked to below. This will be your same credentials as your Fusion 360 account. Then, select your operating system, download the files, and follow the regular installation process for your computer. I'll link to notes below this video to help those of you who have never installed a Fusion 360 add-in. Once you have OpenBOM installed, you'll want to go to the Tools tab of the Design Workspace. We'll select the Scripts and Add-ins feature, followed by the Add-ins tab. You should then see OpenBOM in your list. Select the OpenBOM option and hit the Run button. If you get any weird error messages, then you can close out of them and try running the add-in a second time. It also helps to restart Fusion 360 after you install the add-in. Once successfully run, you will see several OpenBOM features added to your toolbar within the Tools tab. Now you may see an update notice on the far right. If so, go ahead and click the feature and then restart Fusion 360 once the update is complete. Otherwise, you'll want to open your desired file. I'll go ahead and open the Adirondack chair, but feel free to use any file as you can still follow along. Back in the Tools tab, we can now click on Create Multi-Level Bomb, or the one with the letter M. Multi-Level Bombs are something that Fusion 360's native parts list cannot do. Multi-Level refers to the ability to include sub-assemblies or nested components. You'll then be prompted to sign in with your OpenBOM account that you created earlier. Otherwise, you can go ahead and click Register to create a free account. The add-in will then take a minute or two to import all of the Fusion 360 data. This may look crazy as it's processing, but what it's doing is putting each component front and center while hiding the rest of the assembly. It does this so it can capture a snapshot of each component. Once complete, you'll see that the OpenBOM dialog takes over half the screen. Upon first glance, you'll see that the parts list is more intuitive than the native parts list. It also includes multiple levels for each subassembly. You can click on the plus or minus symbols to toggle the assembly's hierarchy. One of the things I like most about this add-in is that you can simply double click on fields to override their values, much like how you would control an Excel spreadsheet. Let's take a moment to look at all of the info that it generates. First is the part number, which is automatically pulled in from the part number field of your component's properties. If you need to change this, you can simply double click and edit the field, otherwise you can edit the source in Fusion 360. We'll take a look at how to update the bomb in a minute. The second column is a thumbnail image, which is a great way to visually see the part. Similar to Excel, we can drag the height and width of each column or row. As you can see, this automatically captured an image of each subassembly and the individual parts. 
the quantity and type are then automatically filled out for the third and fourth columns. The fifth column is the name. This is pulled in from the component name as seen in the Fusion 360 browser. It's important to note that if you override the name here in the OpenBOM add-in, it will not adjust the name back in Fusion 360. However, similar to the part number or anything for that matter, we can adjust it in Fusion 360 first and have the bomb automatically update. Which route you choose depends on your workflow and need. At any time, you can update the parts list by selecting the same multi level bomb option in the toolbar. This will process every part again, ensuring you have the latest information. The description field is also pulled in from the properties dialog. If you didn't fill that out, then this will stay empty. Next is the materials. It's important to note that this is derived from the physical material and not the appearance. Those are two different features in Fusion 360 and ones that I often see beginners get confused with. Physical materials will affect the physical properties such as mass, while appearances will only affect the visual representation. Now, most importantly, and why many of you are interested in this tutorial, is the automation of not only the density, area, volume, and mass, but the automation of length, width, and height of every single component, which is something that Fusion 360 does not natively do. The great thing about OpenBOM is that it pulls this in for every single part or individual component. On occasion, you may end up with an error in one of these fields. Now I found that running it again will often take care of them. If you still end up with an error, then I recommend checking out the bomb via the web version instead of this Fusion 360 integration. Before we view the web version, I also want to call out that you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to sorting and managing the bomb. You can easily reorder the columns, filter them, and override or delete any data. You'll find that each column, row, or individual cell also includes additional functionality when you right click on them. In some scenarios, you may want to reference your bomb or parts list without Fusion 360. The great thing about OpenBOM is that it's not just a Fusion 360 add-in, but a full-on browser-based software. Selecting the logo in the upper left corner will automatically open the bomb in your default web browser. This makes it easier to work with your BOM in parallel with Fusion 360, or if you need to make changes or reference the BOM without Fusion 360. The last thing to point out is that you can export the BOM as an Excel, CSV, or PDF format. Hopefully, this gives you an idea of just how powerful Fusion 360 add-ins can be to extend the functionality even further. Let me know in the comments below if you think this would be helpful for your woodworking or other projects. Last but not least, I want to give a quick shout out to the new patrons and supporters who bought me coffee. Special thanks to Billy, Eric, Cliff, Joseph, and Deddy. And thanks to Kevin, Robert, and John for the coffee. Click on that playlist in the lower right corner to watch more Fusion 360 for woodworker tutorials and I'll see you in the next tutorial.